He's a prolific panel show guest, stand-up comic and part-time fashionista. Yeah, I like to recreate things with uh, like household items. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, um... Is that bin bags on there? Yeah, it's bin bags, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Famous for his elaborate pranks and hilarious trolling. Uh, I replaced the sign with the same picture of a fox, just with wanted dead or alive over it. <laughs> Last year, he launched a protest against FIFA World Cup host Qatar over their strict laws around homosexuality. This is a message to David Beckham. You've signed a reported £10 million deal with Qatar to be their ambassador during the FIFA World Cup. Joe demanded Beckham cut ties with the event. If you do not, at midday next Sunday, I will throw this money into a shredder. After no response from the footballer, Joe tossed this wad of cash into a shredder. Or... So we thought. Because the truth is, the money that went into the shredder was real, but the money that came out was fake. Turns out he'd already donated the 10k to charity. Please welcome Joe Lyford. Welcome, Joe. Hello. Hello. I really want to get it technical on the shredder, but I've been told I'm not allowed to. Mm -hmm. What I do want to know, though, is has David Beckham been in touch? Have you heard? We got a statement from his people. I don't think he wrote it. <laughs> it was from not his people. Cable. And it was, yeah, I don't, I, I'm, sh I'm sure he can use a pen, but I think he's probably too busy doing other things, spending his money. Um, so, yes, we didn't, we didn't hear from him specifically, but we got a sort of bland statement which didn't really say much. Yeah. Did, did you get much um, feedback when you did shred the money before people knew? Yeah. Don't it, <laughs> anger or...? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I got a text from my neighbour, who's lovely, and she said, um, I know it's nothing to do with me, but I'm really shocked by what I just saw on the news. That's a lot of money, what the people could do with that sort of money. And then I texted her back, because I didn't want to give her a, give it away, but I just texted her and I said, just trust me, like, things might not be what they seem. Right. And she replied, you didn't really shred it, did you, little... <laughs> <laughs> You're pretty used to making a big impact with, with interesting ideas. You once changed your name to Hugo Boss. Oh, Can yeah. you tell me about that? I basically am just trying to prod a load of vipers nests and see what happens. <laughs> <laughs> well, Hugo right. Boss, I think they did a bad thing, really, because they there's a brewery uh, that uh, is called Boss Brewing. They're based in Swansea. And Hugo Boss sent them really threatening legal letters, oh. basically saying, you can't use that name. And they spent loads of money on legal fees. And it's a little family business. Mm. And so, obviously, Hugo Boss don't like their name being used. So I thought, well, what can I do? And I <laughs> changed my name legally to Hugo Boss. <laughs> and then just sent out a series of mad, increasing, increasingly mad <laughs> tweets. Does, does that ever get exhausting, sticking up for the little guy? Because, like, Corby is extremely selfish and he's had a very long career. He's doing fine. <laughs> do you ever think, you know what, this year's for me? <laughs> well, I mean, I just, I don't know what it is, really. I sort of, I, I enjoy it, really. And I enjoy the, sto when the stories come in, it's a show that I do in the UK called Joe Lice, It's Got Your Back, and it's, uh, it's, it's fun, and it's sort of, when you see those stories, you go, oh, that's not on, and, and there's something we can do there. So uh, it's quite addictive, really. Yeah. So, um, but, yeah, I'm sure I'll get caught out at some point. And, <laughs> and I, I won't, because yeah. I've never tried. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you're, yeah. you're here in New Zealand at, during the time that the king is going to be yes. doing his coronation. Was that an intentional choice? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I just thought I'd get away from it all. <laughs> <laughs> No, it wasn't. I didn't... I think when this was all booked, I don't think he was due to be coronated, no, no, I think. So it's all... Right. Maybe he did it deliberately to stop me going, I think. <laughs> kind of can't be sad to be out of your home country when this is going on, though. Nah. Because... I wouldn't... I mean, it's sort of fine, isn't it? I think um, I'm not that much of a royalist, so I'll, I'll allow it to happen. Aren't you? Because <laughs> I've got... We've got an image that you actually painted or drew. Um, yes. What's this about? Well, that's my painting of the all-new king. <laughs> But this is... I put it on Instagram yesterday and I've been surprised because people... I think people think that I'm a royalist off the back of that painting. Yeah. But I thought I made his eyes close enough together that <laughs> it, was, it was clear that I wasn't being too positive about it. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind. But I'm quite pleased with it because it is, does look like him and most of my paintings don't look like the people that they're of. Um, <laughs> but, uh, yes, so I, I just did that because I thought it would be fun, really. Awesome. Great. Great to have you on the project tonight. Great to have you in New Zealand. Thrilled and, to be here. Uh, thanks for all the work that you're doing. Joe will be in Auckland, Wellington and Christchurch for the New Zealand International Comedy Festival, which is on. You'll find a link to buy tickets on our Facebook page. Give it up for Joe Lysett! <laughs>